I'm Christine Keegan. I live in Coolock. I had eight children. Five girls, and three boys. I lost two of them in the start. I married, I was married to John, my next door neighbor. I loved him very much. He died six years after, with the shock of losing his two daughters. I knew him as a neighbour, but he worked in the Morrow Creek on the crumbling road with one of my brothers. And uh, we used to come down the road because he piled a, a lad around the corner. And I was reading the book in the garden one day and he says to me, will you come out with me tonight? And I said, the pleasure is all yours. I forgot all about it. He came up to the door and he said he buys a suit, all done up, his quip and all. My sister, Lord Mason, I first came up and says, Chrissy, she says, John King is at the door all done up. I said, what? He said, yeah. I went down. I said, where are you going? He says, you told me the pleasure was all mine, so we're going now. So I was only messing. And he was very annoyed. So I eventually got up. And I was at the end of August. And it was the second last day of his holidays when I met him. And he was going back. So he said, I'll write you. So he wrote me a letter anyway, and it was very romantic. So I got that, I couldn't eat me dinner, all the nice things he was saying to me. So my father, Lord Mason, said, I suppose to you, you're not getting on to eat your dinner. And he came home on Christmas, the week before Christmas, and uh, he says, will you get engaged? And he said, what? And he went out with him three times, then he was gone away. He turned around and he says, Is he, say, my father's out in the back. So he went out and he says to me, Father Lord Mason, uh, Miss, Mr. Daly, can I have uh, your daughter's hand in marriage? And he said, what? What? And uh, says he says, I look after. He says, we wouldn't have us have a chat. So they had a chat in the house anyway, and he gave the permission. That was on the same, the week, week, Christmas week. And he came home the following April. And he, he said to me, Father, that um, we're going to get married in August. And he said, uh, where's your home? He said, I have my place in England. He said, I don't need you to get her going over there. When I came home from Manchester, I had Antoinette and Mary Lord Masoner. John's brother had a flat in Corksley, but he was buying a house in Dundrum. So he let us into the flat. So it seemed to the people that lived next door to me said I was at the moving in and there was people on the list with the grin there. So we had to get out then. I got a letter from the corporation saying that. Mm -hmm. I had uh, moved to uh, Coolock and I brought my mother out of the maze, you know. And she turned around and says to me, my God, she says you're out of the country. It's terrible out here. Well, I said, I love it. So I had... Mary, Antoinette, and I had John, John Ballyperinet, and Martina, Lord Mason, Lorraine, and then I had twins, Neville and Suzanne. And then each year after that, I had Damien. Mary was very good at school. She got um, the Cabbies Award and she won the overall student in third year. And Antonis was very good at it, typing and writing, but she wants to leave school. She had a friend named Mary Kenny, that was her, her pal in school as well. And like, the two of them were very close together. But like, if at Christmas time they'd ask the sister, well, they go around the posh house, the sister in the school, in, in, in the Clash of Doula, would they go around the porch's house and collect for the poor, for the poor people, you know what I mean? And make up little hampers. When Mary got started in the tech, she had her diary. I only found, I don't know who found her after she died. It was up in the wardrobe. 
which was said like that what she wants to be, she would like to be a nun, but to look after handicapped children and things like that. You know, she just wants to help somebody. And she was always writing poems and reading upstairs all the time. She wasn't the one for going out dancing much, was she, Antonia? She used to, um, she wasn't really. She would, yeah, like, mm. we'd have little secret uh, things, like, if, say, an event had happened, uh, say, one night up the stairs, or even the Camelot or the Clay Manor, and I'd probably do something, and Mary would say, right, okay, giving you a warning, let me man out the next time, and it'd be slipped to me, and I'd wait, okay, right, I won't do it again. She was, like, that kind of person, she was, Oh, she was more than a sister, she was a great friend, really and truly, and Martina. Martina was going out with David. The two of them were very close. She taught the world to him, right, and she had written out a lovely Valentine card from the last Valentine that was put down us. She wrote that that night on the card, the Valentine card. Well, she loved that fashion, didn't she, Antonia? Yeah. And she used to go upstairs. She didn't even need makeup. And she'd do her hair. And then somebody say, there was a house at the back of us and there's a lot of boys in it. Um, I think he fancied me, he's always out the back window. And she'd be at her back window. You know? Yeah. Little things like that. You, they meant a lot that time, you know? She was fashion, uh, like, that was our thing, right? The fashion, keep up to date right up to the night the stairs because she had went up with me that night to meet my friend and she's at the top of the corner and she says, I want to, I'm at the walking off without my belt. And I said, run back, I said, and get it. And she goes, no, if I go back, my mouth smells smell the smoke got me. So I says, right, I said, I'll run back and get her. You hold me cigarette. So she's standing there puffing away then. But she didn't want me mouth ever knowing that she was smoking. But we all done it. My father was at a building extension in the back and put an awful lot of effort into building that for us because he's, he's say like he's need a bit of privacy he's at that age now I, and there was five girls in one bedroom and then the three boys in the box room so my father was trying to make um like give me and Mary a little bit of independence and this extension down the back right was for us to have our friends in and sleep down there as well but it never happened Every Friday night, and they all stay there, all stay there, all stay there.